Good afternoon everyone. Today you're looking at a 2013 Sea Ray 280 Sundancer powered with a 350 mag MPI engine with a Bravo 3 dual prop outdrive. Boat's in fantastic shape for the year. We've pulled it for the winter. Uh, the owner, it's a one owner boat. It's been used exclusively in the Chesapeake Bay and maintained every season and pulled and shrink wrapped every year. Uh, we're getting ready to shrink wrap it here momentarily in some clear since it's for sale. This is a brokered boat to us that we'll be listing for the customer and you can give us a shout if you have any additional questions after watching the in-water video. The boat's uh, a black hull which looks really pretty. You just got to detail it once or twice a year. It is a little bit heavier to maintain the black hull over the white hull but if you like boat maintenance, then uh, she's the the exterior hull is the one for you because it looks really good when it's shined up. Uh, the Bravo 3 drive is in uh, good condition, no major corrosion at this point. Needs its annual spring maintenance, bottom paint, sinks, fresh coat of barrier coat on the drive, and then she'll be ready to rock, as you can see. Hall still has a shine to her, even though this has not been detailed yet as you were watching it. It was detailed over the summer, or in the spring. Windless anchor off the bow, as well as a remote spotlight. Plenty of window hatches for uh, light in the cabin. Nice little swim ladder that comes down off the built-in swim platform. Show you this side of the hall. No major deep scratches or dock rash or anything like that. Just uh, hull fiberglass is in great shape. Another thing this boat has, which a lot of 280s don't have, is the upgraded bow thruster. That's a nice feature to have on a 28 foot boat. You don't get it on a lot of them, so that's a nice upgrade. Boat also has a generator. I believe it's a 5 kilowatt. I'll try to list it in the ad as well as the um, engine model and all of that has a windless anchor which I'll show you in a sec, a little ski eye right there. As you climb up the back, a little area for your shore power and TV hookup. Fresh water fill hookup as well right there. But when you're docked at the area for your shore power cord. We also have a little shower, stern shower, that's fresh water. The boat also comes with snap-in carpet, <coughs> excuse me, Berber snap-in carpet. You can also remove that and have the non-skid floor. The cockpit upholstery is in fantastic condition with a tan white uh, interior. This chair swivels as well as uh, so that you can, you know, talk to your guests or be uh, driving the boat. That's a nice feature for the cockpit seat. It actually, okay, so it doesn't swivel, but it does go forward and back, and this goes forward and back as well, if I'm looking at it correctly. <clears throat> nice little lounger here. I can't open the hatch right this second because the batteries have been disconnected. But uh, we can certainly do that to get a picture. I'll manually lift it with two hands once we uh, finish the video. You have a nice little cocktail bar here in the cockpit with a freshwater sink and more storage underneath. The boat comes with the bimini top that you see in the video in the pictures. It also comes with a full canvas uh, enclosure or Isinglass enclosure that goes around the entire cockpit 
so that you can boat seas all year round. You also have a table that goes right there for a little cocktail lounge area if you're eating dinner or entertaining or you can remove it if you have got a lot of people on the boat that day. It also has a radar arch which you've seen that's also a nice looking feature it adds a lot of depth to the boat in my opinion. Up here on the dash uh, standard gauge instrumentation you got your bow thruster down here on the right <clears throat> a Raymarine built-in GPS depth finder combo unit uh, your remote spotlight control, windless control, uh, your tack and all of that. The boat only has 130 hours of use. Very light use on this boat. But it has been maintained every season. He spares no expense as far as uh, what to do with it every year. A little VHF radio area for some goods down there with uh, you know your Coast Guard stuff. Walk through windshield is also nice up to the bow. You can lounge up here with two people can lounge comfortably. You have a step down into the cabin. Um, the cabin door right here. You also have this is a, a um, for when you're sleeping in the boat or staying on the boat that's a screen so you can keep the screen closed and then close everything else up for some nice airflow. If I can get this open again there we go. As you walk into the cabin there's a good bit of head space in here. Sea Ray uh, makes it feel a little nicer than most boat brands that's for sure nice little luxury feel wood grain and uh, nice custom upholstery so inside the v-berth you have this v-berth area which you'll sleep to you can also remove this inside portion of it and there's a cut a table in here for uh, you know two people to eat dinner and it raises up and you can sit there that's also a filler cushion I gotta find out where that goes I'm not entirely sure yet but I will find out for you There's storage under each of uh, these um, sides of the V-berth, both port and starboard. So that's additional storage. You also have a little electric stove, hot and cold water stove that has a hot water heater, your microwave, refrigerator. The boat has air conditioning and heat as well as a generator so you can be running your air conditioning, heat, and all your amenities floating the creek. You don't have to be hooked up to shore power. That's a very nice feature. Here's your little uh, thermostat. The gentleman has still has the snap-in carpet protectors for uh, the carpet. They are removable, but that helps protect the uh, Berber carpet over the course of its life for the high traffic areas. It should be your shore power control, AM, FM radio, Polar generator. Another cool feature is this slide. So if you see this, I'm sorry, it's like a blind in your house. It just slides all the way that way for both windows. So it really brightens up in here. Or again, you can make it nice and dark in here for those early mornings. Sorry, it was a little dark in here. <laughs> now you can actually see some things a little better. Let me pan around here. Well, uh, your cabin lights. And you also have an aft cabin behind the steps. So that it can sleep two comfortably, one very comfortably. You have uh, your cockpit cover there and some more accessories as well as shore power cords right there. Storage underneath there are the aft cabin cushions. Some cabinetry over there that you can also store some gear. The enclosed head features a vacuum flush toilet so it is a self-contained system that has a holding tank however it's just like a toilet in an airplane um, you hit the button this lever here and it flushes you don't actually have to pump and prime the system 
which some boats uh, have. Freshwater sink, you have a little um, window there as well that all the windows come with screens. So that's also cool. So you can really open the, the cabin up and let the air flow through if you're not going to turn the air conditioning on on those cooler evenings. We're going to get the boat uh, up on plane and show you how she runs coming up here in the next 20 seconds. And after you watch that, just give us a shout if you have any additional questions. The boat's here at our facility and can be seen. If you give us a call, we can work out everything else from there. Thanks for watching, and let's go get her out on the water. Our 280 Sea Ray Sun Dancer. That... Don't forget to subscribe to our web page and our YouTube channel. I'm sorry. If you click on our logo in the bottom right hand corner of the video, you will automatically subscribe. Double check our web page to make sure this boat and other boats are available at mdboatsales.com. Give us a call at 443 324 one three six eight